uh, very uh, pleased with our performance today. I know it wasn't perfect, and obviously that's what you strive to be, but we're not uh, against a team that was 4-1, and one, a team that we have a lot of respect for, very good athletes that uh, obviously saw some make some plays today. Uh, excellent. Probably the phase I'm most pleased with is the return yards were minimal, and that was something that that darn kickoff team that uh, they're my guys, man. They're uh, I'm going to maybe put them in first class on the way home tonight. That's how much respect I got for those guys. That uh, I just love who they are. I love their demeanor. I love when you answer challenges. And then our punter kind of turned the momentum of a game, too, when uh, he knocked one. But I think they scored anyways. But we just changed field position. Uh, so I, I was very impressed with our coverage units. Uh, the other thing we worked on real hard is noon kickoff on the road. Uh, put him in bed last night, 9 o'clock. You know, challenged him all week about the early start. And our coaches did a nice job getting their units ready to go. So I'll answer questions for you. Front row, Todd. Urban, you said earlier in the week when you wanted to see this offense do what it's done the last two weeks against a better defense. You're not a guy who's easily impressed. Are you impressed by what you guys did today? I have to watch the videotape. I mean, I, I felt like, you know, it's uh, the thing I'm impressed with is we're starting to get, not starting, ever since the Virginia Tech game, we're getting that bare zero coverage. And, uh, you know, you're seeing receivers and quarterbacks start to get kind of excited when they see that, as opposed to the other, you know, and, and same with the coaching staff. You see it and you're like, great, do it. And you see us taking shot, some more aggressive uh, calls in those situations. So. Uh, that's a sign that, first of all, that, you know our run game's pretty solid if you play base defense. Our offense line's growing up. But that the Bears zero takes away the run game. It forces you. There, there are nine guys at the line of scrimmage that uh, force you to make some shots. And we hit one at Devin Smith and some other ones. That, and we hit some speed options, too. So we've worked real hard on it because we know it's coming. Bill. To jump on them 14-0 right away, knowing the Oh, that's critical, and that's why we, I knew that coming. We, it's not just Maryland. It's any time you go on the road. You know, I'd never been to this stadium, a very nice stadium, and the, and the fan, the students are right on you in the closed end. So it kind of worked out that we started on the other end uh, and, uh, you know, just get some momentum going because uh, I've, I've had teams and I've been a part of them where on noon kickoffs it looks like it's, you know, Got that dullard look, got the bad luck when you're coming out of the locker room, and that wasn't the case. You know, I could tell when they woke up this morning they'd be ready to go. Uh, Tim. Yeah, Irvin, you talked about uh, Cameron Justice, 600 yard punt, and followed that. Darren Lee had the interception there. Uh, Raekwon picked up the fumble, took it back. Was that really the swing point in this game as you look back on that? I mean, was that after the punt? Yeah, yeah, right after the punt. Okay, yeah, that's. Uh, yeah, the aggression of this defense today was, seemed pretty obvious. Yeah, and once again, you just take away. Uh, I, someday we will. Take away the big hits, uh, but our defense. Anytime, I think we scored more than one, didn't we? Yeah, we gave us like like on a five yard line or something. Right, Raekwon, so yeah, just Raekwon scored. I think someone else brought the ball down to like the, the four yard line, and the offense punched it in. I think. Yeah. Um, so yeah, and anytime I, we're going to be more aggressive on defense, we're tighter coverage with that. You know, there's a somewhat of a risk that we need to continue to work on because there's some isolated man to man coverages. But there's also more opportunity to uh, step in front of a ball like we have. Uh, left, Bill. In, in that regard, would you talk about the front four, especially Bosa today? It looked like you got a lot of a lot of pressure. So I, I think so. It's hard for me until on Monday. I'll talk to you, Mark. I just I, I don't watch much. I hear and I, I think you know. I think when the defense coaches come in, they'll answer that because a lot of times I don't even see it. Uh, far left, Doug. Can you just talk about the game plan you guys build during the week? The week play calls you make today, the way your guys execute it, it just seems like everything seems to be getting in sync with what you want to do and then the way your players are able to do it. Well, a lot of confidence in our quarterback right now and our skill positions. You know, I think our, our total yards was 250, 250, was it? Yeah, and we, uh, yeah we only threw it 24 times. I want to throw it more than that. Uh, but 19 to 24, no picks, and you're taking care of the ball, and you ran for yeah. It's it's a very balanced offense where I you know very involved in the play calling myself with Tom, and there's a lot of opportunities to make plays because you're confident. You don't you know we weren't that way in the first game because you just we weren't uh, didn't show it in practice enough. Now they're starting to practice that way. Uh, play for yeah, five games deep with a guy you didn't know you would use. I mean, you use him a little bit, but. He zoomed to the front of the class pretty quickly here. Talking about JT? Yeah. Yeah, he's, he's, playing, he's playing very well. And the, the neat thing is we can still get better. The thing that's the guys playing around him are pretty good too right now. And there's a lot of confidence. When you start rotating six receivers in there and they're all quality guys, uh, that's a good sign. I mean, uh, our guy, JC guy, uh, Corey Smith, 
you know, made some plays for us today. Mike Thomas continues, Devin Smith, Evan Spencer. Uh, there's another one in there. So all oh, the two H's, Jalen and Dante. So there's, you know, we're we're developing depth and we're recruiting good skill right now. You strive to break the offensive record every year. I mean, it, no. it was 45 last year, it was 52 this year. I mean, well, it's going to get the roads getting tougher and tougher. So uh, we're just worried about getting better this week. I can't wait. It's a bye week. I wish we were playing another one next week. Our whole team wishes we were playing. Uh, but uh, I'm going to give him as many game reps as again just to continue to show that maturity. You see Raquan McMillan is getting more confidence in playing. And, and our return game is starting to pop a little bit now. You know, Dontre came out the other end of a punt return. So there's a lot of positives right now. Our kickoff, you know, just uh, the game ball, I know it's going to because I get to give it. It's going to be the kickoff team. So, And, and last question. Gentleman in the hat there. You yep. talked about uh, the new early start on the road and the precautions you took. Were there more precautions than usual or were you more proactive than usual because it's a place you've never played? Exactly. And I've, I've just, I'd say it's 50-50 when you go on the road at a new game. You're, you have to, you know, it's usually sometimes it's the first, middle of the first quarter before they wake up and that other team jumps on you all of a sudden 7-0 and you're playing uphill the entire game. And I just, I, I we, were, we went nuts this week with that. I remember our coaching staff, I was grinding them pretty hard Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday about a fast start.